Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Matisse. For this week's video, I wanted to test out another one of Claire's recipes from her book Dessert Person. This week, the recipe that I'm going to be trying is her flourless chocolate cake. I've made a lot of cakes, but I've never really tried baking gluten-free before, so I'm excited to give this recipe a try. To make Claire's flourless chocolate wave cake, I needed 10 ounces of coarsely chopped chocolate, a half cup of neutral oil such as vegetable or canola, 3 tablespoons of amaretto or dark rum, 6 large eggs, a half cup of almond flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup plus 2 tablespoons of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. To start, I combine the chocolate, oil, amaretto, and a quarter cup of water in a heatproof bowl set over a pot of gently simmering water. I slowly melted all of this together until it was smooth before removing it from the heat and allowing it to cool slightly. Next, I whisked in the egg yolks followed by the almond flour. It looked a little separated after I added the egg yolks, but Claire said that in the book it was normal, so I kept going. Next, in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment, I beat together the egg whites and salt until it was super frothy and foamy. Then I slowly added in a quarter cup of the sugar and increased the speed to high. I continued to beat it until stiff peaks formed, and then beat in the vanilla. I whisked in about a quarter of the meringue into the chocolate mixture just to lighten it a bit, then folded in the remaining meringue in two additions, being careful not to knock out too much air. I made sure to undermix it rather than overmix it because Claire said that was important in her book. I transferred it to a springform pan that was coated with a layer of oil and sugar. I then evenly sprinkled the remaining two tablespoons of sugar on top and baked this in a 350 degree oven for about 35 minutes until it had cracked and risen and a toothpick inserted into the center came out clean. Okay, so I just cut myself a piece of the cake. I will say the texture looks very similar to that of a brownie, but let's give this a taste. As I was saying before, it's less like a cake and more like the experience of eating a brownie just because of how dense and fudgy it is. All of that rise that happened in the oven just came from the air that I whipped into the egg whites and it deflated quite a bit when I took it out, but I think that's normal based on the pictures in the book. The sugar on top adds a nice crunch and it's super rich and fudgy on the inside. It is slightly more cakey than a normal brownie, but I would still say it's more similar to a brownie than it is a cake at least based on the cakes that I've had before. Overall, I'd probably rate this a 7 out of 10. It's super delicious and I'd recommend you try this, especially if you have a gluten intolerance or you can't have flour for whatever reason. There are a lot of other chocolate cakes and brownie recipes out there though, so I'm not sure if this one is super, super far above the rest of them that I've tried before. But all in all, this is a solid chocolate cake that anyone will enjoy. Well, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. Please keep leaving suggestions in the comments about what other things you want me to try from Claire's book Dessert Person. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.